Here are 10 sentences you need to hear at least once in your life. 1. People aren't against you, they are for themselves. Here's the thing. It's easy to perceive others as adversaries, especially when their actions don't align with our own interests or expectations. But what if I told you there's a different way to look at it? Enter Stoicism, a philosophy that flips the script on how we view human interactions. According to Stoicism, people aren't intentionally out to get you. They're simply prioritizing their own needs and desires, just like you are. Now, before you start feeling all defensive, consider this. When we see others as foes, we tend to react defensively, letting negative emotions like anger and resentment take the wheel. But what if we shifted our perspective? What if we chose to view others with empathy and understanding, recognizing that they are just trying to navigate their own paths in life? The Stoics had a knack for dropping truth bombs, and one of their gems goes something like this. What upsets people is not events, but the views they hold about them. In other words, it's not the situation itself that gets under our skin. It's how we choose to interpret it. So by adjusting our perceptions and choosing to see others through a lens of empathy, we can turn conflicts into opportunities for connection and growth. So, the next time you find yourself at odds with someone, take a beat. Step back and try to see things from their perspective. Remember, they're not intentionally trying to rain on your parade. They're just trying to find their own spot in the sun. And here's the kicker. Treating others with kindness and generosity isn't just good for them. It's good for you, too. It's like a boomerang of good vibes coming right back at you when you least expect it. 2. Climb mountains not so the world can see you, but so you can see the world. Climbing mountains isn't just about flaunting your achievements like a peacock strutting its feathers. It's about gaining a fresh perspective on the world around you. And let me tell you, the Stoics were all about that life. When you take on the challenge of conquering mountains, whether they're made of rock and snow or symbolize metaphorical obstacles in your life, you're not just testing your physical prowess. You're also stretching the boundaries of your mind. Scaling those peaks gives you a bird's eye view of the world, quite literally. It's like swapping your old pair of glasses for a brand new set with a wider lens. Suddenly, you're seeing landscapes and vistas that you never knew existed. And it's not just about the scenery. It's about gaining insights and experiences that you could never glean from the comfort of solid ground. It's a gentle reminder that personal growth isn't about collecting trophies or racking up likes on social media. Nah, it's about deepening your understanding of the world and your place in it. And let me hit you with some stoic wisdom. The obstacle is the way. Translation? Challenges aren't roadblocks. They're detours, leading you to unexpected treasures of self-discovery and growth. So, the next time you lace up your hiking boots and set your sights on conquering your own mountains, keep this in mind. The true reward isn't in planting your flag at the summit for the whole world to see. Nope. It's in the profound transformation and enlightenment that come from seeing the world through a fresh pair of eyes. 3. You learn more from failure than from success. Don't let it stop you. Failure builds character. Let's talk about learning, shall we? Now, we've all heard that old saying about how failure is the best teacher, right? Well, turns out, the Stoics were totally on board with that idea. In their world, setbacks and challenges weren't roadblocks. They were like those extra spicy jalapenos that give your burrito that extra kick opportunities for growth and self-improvement. So, picture this. You're cruising along, minding your own business, when BAM! You hit a stumbling block. It could be a big old face plant or just a little trip up, but either way, it's a chance to flex those resilience muscles and build some serious character. Each time you stumble or take a wrong turn, 
you're not just collecting bruises. You're gathering up valuable life lessons that success might not serve up on a silver platter. It's like the Stoics used to say, the greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Translation, the tougher the challenge, the sweeter the victory. So instead of throwing in the towel when failure comes knocking, why not give it a high five and see what it has to teach you? Because here's the thing, failure isn't the end of the road. It's just a pit stop on the journey to greatness. It's where you learn about your limits, uncover your hidden strengths, and muster up the grit to tackle whatever life throws your way. So, the next time you find yourself face to face with failure, don't let it knock the wind out of your sails. Embrace it like a long lost friend and let it guide you on the path to becoming the absolute best version of yourself. After all, it's not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you bounce back stronger and wiser than before. Four, the most dangerous risk of all is the risk of spending your life not doing what you want. We all know that living life to the fullest means stepping out of our comfort zones every now and then. But here's the thing. There's one risk that trumps them all. The risk of never chasing after your deepest passions and wildest dreams. According to those wise old Stoics, this is the granddaddy of all dangers because it deprives you of the chance to live authentically and reach your full potential. I mean, think about it. Life is like a delicious cake, and every day is a slice that brings us closer to the end of the whole shebang. So why waste a single crumb playing it safe and sticking to the status quo? And one of their greatest hits goes a little something like this. Life is short and art long. The crisis fleeting, experience perplexing and decision momentous. Translation, life's too short to waste time hemming and whoring over what ifs and maybes. It's about grabbing the bull by the horns and diving headfirst into the glorious chaos of pursuing your passions. So what are you waiting for? Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Whether it's chasing your dreams of becoming a world-renowned chef or finally taking that trip around the globe, the time to act is now. After all, as the saying goes, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. So strap on your courage boots, take a deep breath and take that leap of faith. Your dreams are waiting and you owe it to yourself to chase after them with all you've got. Five, go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. Let's dive into the power of choosing where you're celebrated over just being tolerated, shall we? It's like picking the juiciest peach in the bunch. It's bound to be sweeter and more satisfying. When you make this choice, you're not just acknowledging your own self-worth. You're also setting yourself up for success in line with those stoic principles we love to talk about. Think of it as curating your own personal garden of positivity. You want to surround yourself with people and environments that not only recognize, but celebrate the awesome source that is you. Because here's the deal. Stoicism isn't just about enduring whatever life throws your way. It's about actively seeking out relationships and spaces that water your soul and help you grow into the best darn version of yourself. So, when you choose to bask in the glow of places where you're celebrated, you're essentially planting seeds of happiness and personal growth. It's like creating your very own cheering section, full of folks who lift you up, cheer you on, and encourage you to chase after your dreams like a kid chasing after an ice cream truck on a hot summer day. Remember those wise words from the Stoics, associate with people who are likely to improve you. Translation, surround yourself with folks who not only appreciate your quirks, but also inspire you to reach new heights. Because when you find yourself in spaces where your unique qualities are not just tolerated, but celebrated, that's where the magic happens. That's where you can spread your wings and soar 
living a life that's as fulfilling as it is fabulous. 6. The person that you will spend the most time with in your life is yourself, so you better try to make yourself as interesting as possible. Let's delve into the art of spending quality time with numero uno, yourself. It's like treating yourself to a solo date night, but instead of just Netflix and chill, you're diving deep into the fascinating world of self-discovery and personal growth. And guess what? The Stoics totally had your back on this one. So picture this. You're the star of your own show, the lead character in the epic saga of your life. And since you'll be spending more time with yourself than anyone else, why not make that company top notch? It's all about becoming the kind of person you'd want to hang out with, you know? Investing in your personal growth, hobbies and passions isn't just about impressing others, although that's a nice bonus. It's about enriching your own life in the process. The Stoics were all about nurturing that inner world of yours, because as they wisely put it, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. So by jazzing up your own company with a dash of learning, a sprinkle of exploration, and a hefty dose of creativity, you're not only deepening your relationship with yourself, but also making yourself a whole lot more interesting to others. So carve out some quality me time to discover what makes you tick, to pursue activities that set your soul on fire and to continuously evolve into the most kick-ass version of yourself. Because here's the kicker, the more fascinating you become to yourself, the more fulfilling and meaningful your journey through this crazy thing called life will be. It's like adding extra sprinkles to an already delicious ice cream sundae. Totally worth it. 7. If you accept your limitations, you go beyond them. Let's chat about embracing your limitations, shall we? It's like making friends with the obstacles in your path and then showing them who's boss. In the world of Stoicism, this idea hits home hard, shining a spotlight on the importance of self-awareness and personal growth. Because here's the thing, when you own up to your boundaries and weaknesses, you're not waving the white flag of surrender, you're actually gearing up to conquer them. Think of it as giving your limitations a nod and a wink, saying, hey, I see you lurking there, but guess what? You're not going to hold me back. Stoicism teaches us that real strength comes from knowing ourselves inside and out, warts and all. By embracing our limitations and working with them rather than against them, we open up a whole world of possibilities. It's like turning your weaknesses into secret weapons, transforming stumbling blocks into stepping stones on the path to progress. So the next time you bump up against a limitation, don't let it rain on your parade. Instead, see it as a golden opportunity to flex your muscles and uncover new layers of strength within yourself. Because here's the kicker. By accepting where you're limited, you're actually setting yourself up to soar higher than you ever thought possible. It's like finding a hidden treasure map in the midst of a maze. Once you embrace your limitations, you'll discover a whole new world of potential waiting to be unlocked. 8. People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. Let's talk about maintaining motivation, shall we? It's like keeping yourself clean and fresh. It's not a one-and-done deal. You gotta put in the work every single day. And guess what? The Stoics were totally on board with this idea, reminding us that consistency and self-discipline are the keys to success. Think about it like this. Just as you wouldn't expect to stay squeaky clean after one shower, you can't rely on a single burst of motivation to carry you through life's ups and downs. Nope. Stoicism teaches us that it's all about showing up for yourself day in and day out, even when the initial spark starts to flicker. So, 
Instead of sitting around waiting for motivation to strike like a bolt of lightning, why not make it a part of your daily routine? Whether it's setting aside time for a morning pep talk, jotting down your goals for the day, or surrounding yourself with positive affirmations, nurturing your motivation on the regular lays the groundwork for success and personal growth. Remember those wise words from the Stoics. We should not give up and we should not allow the problem to defeat us. Translation, keep showing up, keep putting in the effort, and don't let life's curveballs knock you off course. Just like you wouldn't skip a day of brushing your teeth, hopefully. Don't skip a day of fueling your motivation to tackle whatever comes your way. Because when you make motivation a daily habit, you're setting yourself up to conquer mountains and achieve your wildest dreams. 9. Everyone you meet is afraid of something, loves something and has lost something. Meeting new people is like opening a treasure chest. You never know what gems you'll uncover beneath their smile or their silence. And you know what? The Stoics were all about this idea, reminding us that every person is like a book waiting to be read, full of fears, loves, and losses that shape who they are. Think of it like this. Just as you have your own fears that keep you up at night, your loves that light up your days, and your losses that weigh heavy on your heart, so does everyone else. It's like we're all sailing the same sea of life, navigating our own storms and basking in our own sunshine. So, the next time you cross paths with someone, take a moment to pause and remember that they're on their own journey too. It's like that old saying goes, Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. And ain't that the truth? By approaching others with empathy and understanding, we not only honor their humanity, but also create space for deeper connections and richer relationships. Because here's the thing, we're all in this together, navigating the highs and lows of life as best we can. So, whether you're chatting with the barista at your favorite coffee shop or striking up a conversation with a stranger on the bus, remember to tread lightly and treat each interaction as an opportunity to spread a little kindness and compassion. After all, you never know what battles someone else is fighting behind their smile. 10. Comfort is the enemy of achievement. Comfort is like that cozy blanket on a chilly evening, so inviting and snug, but sometimes it can also be the sneakiest roadblock to reaching our full potential. And you know what? The Stoics were all about shaking things up and embracing discomfort as a catalyst for growth. Picture it like this. Comfort is like your favorite pair of sweatpants. It feels like a warm hug. But if you spend too much time lounging in them, you might start to feel a bit stuck. Stoicism teaches us that true growth and achievement come from stepping out of our comfort zones and facing challenges head on. It's like giving your comfy couch a loving pat and saying, hey, I adore you, but love got dreams to chase. By pushing ourselves beyond what feels easy and familiar, we're not just flexing our muscles, we're building resilience, strength, and the kind of grit that separates the movers and shakers from the bystanders. And you know what the Stoics would say about that? The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Translation. The tougher the challenge, the sweeter the victory. So the next time you find yourself cozied up in your comfort zone, take a moment to pause and remember that true achievement lies just beyond its boundaries. Embrace discomfort as a sign that you're leveling up and making strides toward your goals. Because here's the thing, a ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. So cast off those cozy ties, hoist your sails, and set course for the seas of achievement and fulfillment. Adventure awaits, my friend.